Okay, we have a non-working compressor here. So I cut around all the way around the edges with an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. Just cut right below the weld, hammered it. Then we bust it off. This right here is the this is just a fill line to like charge this the system. This line right here is the pressure going out. This is the suction coming in. Pull it off. You notice it's just sitting up there. So this entire area is just surrounded by um, refrigerant. Let's take that off. I did just barely snip this because this line is connected. This is your pressure line. And it's connected down to the bottom. And I used a pair of a screwdriver and I popped off the electrical connection right here. Just pushed it off. So let's, let's pull it out. Yeah. Well, that doesn't have very much oil in it. Might be why it went bad. I don't know. Not much oil in there. There's an electrical connection right there. And so the way these work is you have um, this right here is actually going to be like your inlet. There's a little hole down there. It's put up towards the top. So, well, this is the top. This is the bottom. So it can pull the refrigerant in, bring it down here, and then there is, and then there is a piston, just like a car, just like an engine. And the the electric motor spins this, and as it spins it, there is essentially a crankshaft or an eccentric on the. Um, on the motor and it makes the piston going up and down and it compresses the refrigerant and this right here is a tube that's bent that sits in the oil and the, the middle of the tube is actually centered but then oil goes up in here a little ways and as this spin it gets thrown to the outside which pressurizes it that pushes oil up um, the refrigerant's compressed goes through, back up, down along here into this line that I cut, then out through the system. This is essentially your cylinder head. like reed valves it's broken that right there is why it stopped working little reed valve could no longer seal the little chunk broke off find the chunk so this is the inlet comes down just comes through this hole right here and just sits right on here and so when the piston goes up pushes against this and closes off so it can 
so it doesn't repressurize that side. And then when the piston goes down, it sucks in here, and then when it goes back up, so when it goes back up, it pushes on a little teeny reed valve right here that um, that goes into this compartment. And then from that compartment, it goes out this hole, which is right here, and then on. So let's pull that apart. So these are just cups. So I took off four bolts and this dropped off the other side, the um, stator. I believe that's the stator. And I pulled out the uh, little the, uh, the wrist pin for the uh, piston. I pulled that out. So now I'm going to rotate so we can get the piston out, there we go. Here it comes. And that's the piston. It's actually pretty heavy, it's steel. So But there's no rings or anything, which is surprising me. I thought there would be rings, but I guess not. It's just a really tight fit. And this looks like it's cast iron. Now I should be able to get to rotate that back. I should be able to pull off the connecting rod. There's a connecting rod. There's your super little piston. About the size of a finger, maybe a thumb. This data was just connected with, um, it just sat just like this. And there's just four bolts. I just removed those four bolts and pulled that off. But I should be able to. That's a piece of cast iron. It's main cane crankshaft, and apparently, even though it's keyed up here, there is no key in there. There's no keyway, so I'm, I'm not sure why they have that keyed. But that just, it's just a tight fit. So you can see that a little bit better. This is actually centered. The tip of it's actually centered. But as it rotates, as it spins, it throws the oil out, which actually forces it up and lubricates it and it pushes it out this little hole. And it probably pushes it out that little hole as well. And while it's spinning, it actually brings it up and lubricates this the little bearing that this sits on in there. And that is all there is to an AC compressor. There's no extra parts that you can even take off of this.